Welcome to React Router version 4. This is Switch. What I'm going to do is I'll just start off by saying my name is Gary Taylor. Uh, you can hit me up at GPL Taylor on Twitter. Um, you can also hit me up at GPL Taylor on the GitHub. And everything you see here will be pushed up to React Router Workshop. And to plug my own website and training company, you can go to trenchsoftware.co.uk forward slash YouTube. Okay, and with all the um, introductions gone, I want to show you through this website. Really cool. We've got a few pages here, home and about us. A really costly Ajax call. And another page that does almost identical, but just shows the name Bob, but it's got a really costly Ajax call. It shows Bob. And then more information about Bob and the fact that Bob is also missing. So we've got a home, about us, and about us, about Particular person, Bob, some more information about Bob and a missing page. If we have a look, we can see that what's going on is all of the routes are matching. What I'm going to do is show you why that's happening. Also, when I click the About Us, we get the Ajax call. So we're using a, a stateful component here. And we've got a lifecycle hook on should component mount. And at that point, we make this call. But we're using the exact same component for the about user. But we are then making the exact same call again. And we can clean that up by using React Router's switch. If we dive over to the code, we can see that here is the page introduction to switch. We have the basic home page about us. And once again, the about us, like I said previously, that these two roots are using the same component and then the details about the person which is using the main account details component and then the infamous not found more details coming to a link at the top these are just really basic stateless components apart from the about us which is using the uh, component did mounted component did mount rather Imagine we're going off doing some really hefty Ajax calls and we're getting lots of data that we need to pull into this component. And what's happening is we saw that that was happening twice, once when we hit the about us and again when we hit the about us with the username splat. And that's because we've got these two components that are the same here. Now the great thing about uh, Switch is that it would be nice if we could realize that we've already rendered this component, we already got it live. That's exactly what Switch is able to do. It's able to see that, hang on a minute, you've already got the About Us open, so I'm not going to make a new one. I'm just going to re-render. Um, it would also be nice if all of these components didn't try to mount at once and kind of show us the not found page on every single link that we go to. So what we can do is we can just put the switch in and do that by wrapping our roots within the switch. And if we go back to our website, we can see that it's broken. Okay, let me try and figure out what's going on. Okay, I think it's because we actually need the exact in because we need at least one route that's going to occur. In fact, actually what's happening is, is because we're using the switch, the uh, forward slash is always matching. And a switch is only ever going to display one component. So if we head back to our website, what's actually happening is we are navigating the pages, we are moving across, but the home page is always matching. So this home component is always occurring. So let's try and get that out of the picture. We do that by using the exact prop. And if we head over to the website, we should now be able to navigate across the pages. Okay. So we see if we go to About Us, we get the costly Ajax. If we go to the user About Us, it's gone straight to that component and it's not um, redone the component should mount. So we've not got that costly Ajax. These two will keep on living forever. If we go to Bob, now we've come out of that component. If we go back, we should get the uh, costly Ajax call and the infamous um, page not found. Okay, that's React Router version 4 Switch. Simple, cheap, and cheerful. Remember, guys, that uh, with Switch, you can display one route. Don't forget the exact, otherwise you're just going to keep on showing that home page. And it won't remount a component if 
that's the component already in view what it's going to do is just re-render so you are going to get an update but remember them life cycle events won't fire the way that you expect them to so if you put code in there and expect that to happen that's not going to but remember you can use that to your advantage in making sure that you're not over fetching data if you've loved this guys then please show it please hit that lovely subscribe button and don't forget that little like button sometimes it's just as good cheers guys